Good morning, YouTube. And of course, to everyone in my landscape and lawn care community. Uh, today is June 13th, uh, Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, it's cloudy outside today. Uh, I do believe the sun is supposed to come out. Um, it's not bright like it was yesterday morning. Um, but anyway, same old plan, getting work done. Uh, gonna be going back to the uh, commercial properties from yesterday. And do a lot of weeding and pruning. Um, we'll have a crew doing the uh, majority of the pruning. They'll probably start on uh, some, I'm sorry, majority of the weeding there's tons of weeds tons tons I mean you literally can just have picked up weeds last week and there's like new ones all over the place but if anything uh, that's something that I know is gonna be like top priority is getting weeds out of the beds because uh, it's looking unsightly in some places um, and then the pruning needs to, you know, get started on too. Oh, and probably, yeah, I don't know. I, I have some seasonal flowers I'm supposed to do and then quite a few beds on one of the properties. But there's some pots uh, that need to be done as well. Um, I may get those done today, tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. Because um, also, the fountain on that one property I got the fountain going like more than a month like about a month ago uh, but come to find out the guys that uh, I guess contractors that were hired to paint the fountain uh, actually painted it the wrong not the wrong color just the later uh, different shade of the color like it's a dark blue is what was wanted and I think they painted it a lighter uh, not a light blue but a lighter than what the manager wanted uh, I think she was trying to get it to match um, uh, something on the, I think the restaurant. I think some colors on the restaurant, uh, on the front of the restaurant. She wanted it to match that. So, uh, and when they didn't do that, I didn't know. I saw it was painted, so I just went and got the fountain started, and didn't you know you know let the manager know that I did it, and then she was like, oh. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, like, they painted it the wrong, you know, shade of, you know, blue. So go ahead and uh, drain it. <laughs> I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, which wasn't too much of a bad thing because I started noticing there was some leaking going on when we did it. Um, and I was just letting her know, like, what, what I saw. So, you know, it, it probably was going to get drained anyway because, um, the plumber needed to come uh, check and look at it. Plus, they needed to certify the backflow that's uh, out there uh, to the fountain. So anyway, I know I'm kind of going all over the place with this, but just trying to give you an idea what what's going on with the fountain and what's my plan today. Uh, pretty much, uh, the fountain is good to go as far as repairs, certify the backflow. So today I plan on turning on the fountain, setting the timer on it, you know, uh, you know, come on like seven o'clock in the morning, turn off like nine o'clock at night and what have you. So I plan on turning that on today. So it's gonna be quite a few things going on uh, at this property today, weeding, pruning, uh, getting this fountain on, probably also water some of the flowers and uh, plant, new pl you know, plantings that we put in uh, last week. Uh, we've had some rain, so I know it's been uh, pretty good as far as, you know, getting water that way. Uh, wasn't any rain yesterday. It was real hot. Sunny. I think it's just going to be pretty hot today, too. So, just want to, you know, uh, give a little water to the plants there. Got to take care of them. Uh, other than that, I don't know. I may, depending on uh, how the day goes, I may go to another property or, you know, maybe a residential because I plan on going to residential homes tomorrow. Uh, but I may do something that, you know, earlier today or later today. 
And, uh, God, this car's going so fast over here, not trying to let me over. Gotta make my way. Ah, uh, man, I tell you, let me get out of here because my guy's driving crazy. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm headed to the shop. And uh, it's about 6 15. I always try to leave a little earlier. Somehow I'll just be running last minute. Try to take care of things before I leave the house. Um, and I know when it gets hot, I'm gonna start, you know, leaving a little earlier. Uh, starting earlier so we can knock off earlier. Uh, I don't like, you know, being in the heat too long or having guys working in the heat too long when it gets real, real hot. I know some companies, you know, they have so much work that they they have to be in the uh, heat all day, you know, even to like the late hours. Uh, I, I try to avoid that as much as I can um, when it gets real smoking hot in the summertime. We're not, we're not really there yet. We may have some signs of it, you know, here and there, but, you know, probably, you know, towards the end of June, like July, August, you know, that's, that's the time I'm talking about. But anyway, I will get with you guys, uh, hopefully at the job site, hopefully I won't forget. Uh, sometimes I get so locked in with the work, I forget like, oh damn, I didn't take video of this. <laughs> that like, it's like my job to do, but hey, if I'm making these videos, I should keep up as much as I can. And I'm still using the cell phone, you know, I was able to upload, you know, obviously two videos here uh, from the cell phone which allowed me to upload with no problem, you know, you know, 18 minute video I did, I think yesterday, and um, the GoPro videos that I've been trying to edit through the apps have been just as long. The, when I was telling you that, that, you know, I was dealing with the export fail, so I don't know, maybe it's just the, I don't know. I was trying to figure out why, well, why is it working on the phone, like, what you know, it's uploading, but I'm not even going to get into that. I'm just going to go ahead and use my cell phone for right now, because uh, it's been working, and I'm like, hey, might as well keep rolling with it, uh, but I'm going to get back to that GoPro uh, as soon as I can, man, because I just like the way it takes videos, and, um, uh, you know, and then, you know, obviously, nice and clear too, not saying this isn't, but you know, the GoPros were really clear. Alright, I done yapped my mouth up a little bit too much right now, so I will see you guys at the next scene.
Hey guys, uh, just letting you know what's going on here. Um, I talked to the crew, uh, they're already at the shopping center starting to do some work, reading. Uh, Troy's there as well. I told them just to get started because I got to stop by uh, to pick up some chemical. So, uh, I mean, I have Roundup for weeds, but I like mixing it with scythe. Uh, for you guys that know what scythe is, uh, I'm just trying to take care of, um, or maybe some SureGuard, I don't know, see what they have, but I want to, want to uh, take care of either the crack weeds and the pavement weeds all through both properties. And, you know, Roundup works good, but sometimes when you kind of spike it up a little bit, you know, with something else, uh, it works faster. <laughs> and I'm in the need of wanting uh, these weeds to die faster. So I'm about to stop up here at a place I don't really want to go to because the prices are high compared to some other vendors that I know. Um, I believe it's John Deere or maybe I think it's Site One now. They've gone from Lesco to John Deere Landscapes to Site One. I think Site One's been buying up Shimmins as well. But I'm just going here because it's close to where I need to go. And I gotta do what I gotta do. Plus, I, I think I may pick up a backpack, an extra backpack sprayer, and some spray boots uh, if they have that. Uh, but I'm about to be here. See what's up. How you doing? Um, do you happen to have any uh, scythe or SureGuard? Okay. Uh, two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Legend landscape. Yes, sir. Adrian Stewart. Thank you for calling Site One Landscape Supply. Victor speaking. Hello. Site You have one gallon. Just two and a half. How much is the two and a half? Um, at site one, I just picked up um, a backpack sprayer, some scythe, which I'll show you. This is the uh, backpack sprayer, which I already have one, but I like to have one for some weed control, one for Roundup. Uh, it's just the scythe here that I plan on using with the Roundup. Got tip and pour for chemicals, mixing cup. That's another tip and pour. some spray boots also so I can use when I go into the fountain that has water in it right now so got to get up out of here as soon as I find my keys and there they go all right let me put this down here make sure that's okay Showing you, you know, some things I'm getting, and yes, they were expensive, but I had to do what I had to do under the circumstances. And next time, I'm going to put in an order for some things that I know from a man down in Virginia, KC at Landscape Supply, who has great prices. Um, you know, 
I don't like to talk down about, you know, places and, you know, um, and say, you know, I can't stand going here because it's expensive, but I'm going to tell you, my experiences with these guys, they are really expensive because I've compared their prices, especially to Landscape Supply and some other vendors, and I'm like, they're charging two to three times more for the same thing. Um... You know, and I was just like, there's no way, you know, you guys are raping people. <laughs> you know, I, I, I guess, you know, if people are going to pay it, they're going to pay it. I'm only going to pay it when it's convenient for me, you know, to, 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 to stop there to get something, um, you know, near a job. But that's the only time I'm going to go there. But as far as trying to buy overall things all the time, nope, not doing it. All right, guys, I'll see you guys at the uh, job site. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I'm at the fountain right now. Guys are over there weeding. Uh, Troy's over there watering flowers right there. So, uh, got him taking care of things. I gotta get in here. algae in it and I want to start it off from scratch uh, and the reason why it's running right now is because you know, the backflow uh, which we got the hose hooked up to um, so we got the hose running on so that it's causing this fountain to run so I want to get in here and start draining it so that everything's draining out and by the time they finish with the um, watering then we can turn off the water and then it'll be all out uh just gotta do what i gotta do all right guys i'll get with you in a little bit I feel like i'm at sea world over here uh, got my big black boots on. Yeah. Now I'm about to get up out of here while I drain it up. Just come and check out these viburnums that uh, Troy was trimming up. And looking pretty good. Yeah, those are looking pretty good. I'm about to check on them over here and uh, see how he's doing. Okay. Oh, what they do? Oh, right. What they doing good? Okay. He's knocking these things out. Oh, what they doing good? Out here dealing with this fountain over here, getting it filling up right now. So, just coming over to check and see what he was doing. And uh, then I'm about to go check on the other crew. Sorry, I had to turn that off for a second because uh, some lady was bitching about I was in her way. <laughs> you know, kind of like, oh, can, you, can you move this? Can you move this? Can you move? Da, 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 da. I'm over there talking to Troy. And she, can you? Yeah. I'm like, okay, I didn't see you. Uh, you know, take it easy. I'm going to move. I have every right of being here too. You know, I know you, you're trying to get out. It's okay. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Hey, some people look at you like you just like the bottom of their shoe. And God forbid if you just happen to be, you know, working, talking to your employee and, you know, got to be moving like, like I'm supposed to know like she's behind me. I don't even see her. Jeez. Anyway, I'm heading back over here to the fountain. I'm trying to get this thing going. 
and uh, turn the pump on and everything. So I will take you on my little journey of getting this set up. A lot of people are out here walking around, eating lunch. You know, it's a nice place to be. So many people walking around. Got to move my cone here. All right. Back with you guys in a little bit. What are you? Back to the stuff. Still got some more to fill up here, but um, get this fountain ready here once and for all. Got it going again, you know, guys uh, had to repaint this because it wasn't the same color. So I had to drain this, like I said before. Um, everything's legit now, so I just ended up draining what water was in there again because there was a lot of algae and dirt, so I cleaned that out. And now, uh, still filling it up, but got it working, and I'm gonna set the timer here in a second. But everybody's gonna start flopping to this thing and it's like crack. <laughs> hey guys ah been plugging away here uh as the guys are still weeding down around the shop center i came up to the, come up to the entrance to uh spray some good old you know roundup and i mixed that scythe i picked that picked up this morning uh, I pretty much did this area right here, which uh, has a lot of weeds, um, has a lot of these tree ceilings that's uh, annoying, uh, which I'll show you here. Don't know how well you could see it. There's little tiny seedlings, you know, weed control is not going to get rid of it as far as broadleaf weed control, but uh, Roundup will do some damage to it, or you could pick it up by hand, but there's so many of them, probably just best to go ahead and uh, spray it, and I'm going to let you know what else I, I attacked. I did these right here. Sat here and weeded these. Weeded this area right here by the traffic light. I'm on stage here in front of everybody. And what I couldn't uh, pick up, I sprayed with the Roundup, but it's no shame on my game. I know how important this is as far as the weeds in these areas. And I pretty much took care of it. If you want to see how much, this is how much. I pulled out of all these stone beds here. And uh, it's requiring to, you know, obviously pick through the rocks, you know, pull by the roots, the rooter to the tutor. <laughs> um, take that with me when I walk back. But yeah. Oops, can't drop all my weeds now. Yeah, so been pulling weeds since I've been six years old. It's one of the first things that uh, my father <laughs> had me doing all through the head, you know, sidewalks, beds. And I remember I used to snatch them, you know, I got so sick of it, I was snatching the weed up by the top of it, leaving the root inside. My father was like, oh no, boy, you better get, you better get, get it by that root. And he wasn't playing, I tell you. And uh, I obviously started weeds, you know, pulling weeds and then mowing grass. Had me doing everything, man, I tell you. And then of course, when I got in trouble, which I got in a lot of trouble, and I had to do more of that work. So I think I'm the Michael Jordan of <laughs> pulling weeds. You know what I'm saying? It's no shame in my game. Ooh, boy, let me just throw this stuff in here. 
been doing this for over 40 years. So there's no reason why, <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be still doing it. It's one of the first things I learned and I never forgot. And uh, one thing I can tell you is a lot of guys that want to work, uh, you know, want to work, but they won't do that. They will not pull, they will not pull any weeds uh, that's like beneath them. That's like slave work or I'm not doing that. And I take offense to that because if I was doing that at six years old for free, you know, and been doing it for 40 years, you shouldn't have a problem doing it, especially, you know, if it's a, you know, earning a living. Everyone thinks that Spanish people are the only ones supposed to be picking weeds. Can you believe that? I know some Spanish people that don't even want to pick weeds. They always think like, you know, Mexicans or whoever, you know, they always think like they're the best workers. You know, don't get me wrong. A lot of them are hard, hard, hard workers. Excuse me, because the wind's blowing. A lot of them are hard workers. But, uh, I know a lot of them lazy as shit. Excuse my French, but <laughs> I know a lot of them that just will, will, will milk the clock just like any race out there. So, uh, don't 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 uh, sweat the technique when it comes to that because not all Spanish Mexicans or whatever uh, Spanish descent is you know busting their ass good amount of them are but there's a good amount of them that ain't too so anyway enough of all that ranting um, I'm about to go check on the guys down there again uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna hit another area and uh, Troy's already gone for the day. He, he and my man, my man was working. Troy was busting his ass. That man, <laughs> he has another job, full-time job. He's busting his ass with that, and he's here busting his ass. You know, uh, I just like when people do good work. I like when people bust their ass. I like when people don't just make excuses um, to get stuff done. You know, and just and people that take pride and enjoy it. He has some of the similar backgrounds as me as far as, you know, grandfather, you know, heavy into landscaping and, you know, learning stuff at a young age, you know. And, uh, you know, he's been doing it for the county, the school system, you know, for over 10 years. You know, not working for any other companies, landscape companies, what have you. Just got that, you know, know-how from being young, being taught, and then, you know, growing up and just adding that, you know, to later in life. And I just see he has it in him. You know, he, he was by himself pruning, you know, the shrubs, cleaning up after himself, where a lot of people want to, you know, prune the shrubs, you know, trim the shrubs and have a helper rake up behind them, you know. He ain't have anybody, you know. I was out there doing what I needed to do with the fountain. The other guys were out there weeding. He was doing that, you know. I like people that, you know, do good, good honest, hard work and don't complain about it. You know, we, we do feel our pains and bumps, you know, throughout each day after doing this type of work, but we get back out here and do it again. And just cause, you know, I own my own business, it doesn't mean I'm not gonna be out there getting on my knees and, and, and pulling weeds cause that's a, part of, that's a part of it. If I can't do it, I shouldn't expect someone else to be doing it. So, um, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna get in this. I can make a probably a whole 30 minute video about this. So I'm gonna uh, let this go for right now and I'm gonna go down to the other spot. I'll get back with you guys a little later. Hey guys, I'm back. Got a nice little hat on, huh? Every time y'all see me, I got this on. Either for the sun or for the rain. Huh. About to head back to the shop now. Uh, the guys are pretty much wrapped up or uh, wrapping up uh, the shopping center and weeding. So uh, I feel like I got a sneeze about to come up. It's like tickling like it needs to be right there, but it's not coming. All right. Anyhow, sorry if this is all over the place, shaking and all crooked, but I've already explained myself on that in the earlier video. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot done. Um, 
lot of weeding, spraying weeds, got the fountain going, you know, pretty much cleaned it, drained it, started it over, got this timer set, uh, got some pruning, you know, pruning done, uh, you know, weeding, like I said, throughout the shopping center and also uh, on the other property up the median strips. Uh, starting to get a little hot out here, so I think we're calling it a day. It's about 3.30. So I think there may be a thunderstorm. I don't know. It's kind of got that feel of one. And I think they called for it earlier this morning. But oh, here come the stick on the sneeze. Hold on. Ah, it's like right there. I wanted to let it out so bad. It's about to just come out like out the blue. I'm not even expecting it. So yeah, like I said, I'm heading back to the shop. I'm gonna have to go unload some of these things off the back of the truck, hook the trailer back up and everything, get it ready for tomorrow because uh, I'm gonna need a trailer tomorrow and uh, doing some residential. Um, and stuff I'm probably, I'm gonna see if I can stop by some of those commercial properties that are just beds only. If not, I may save it for Friday. It's kinda, I got, you know, some room to kind of play around um, with, you know, with what I want to schedule as far as what's left. You know, I could do it all on one day. I could mix it up between two days. Um, I got some kind of X Factor things happening where I sent some proposals early this morning, like four o'clock. Um, and, you know, and before I went to bed, probably about maybe 12, one o'clock. And I'm waiting to see if they're going to say yes or no. Because if it's yes, I could possibly do them either tomorrow or Friday. Or I might get pushed to next week. I hate the, the, the what-ifs, the possibles, like playing spades. And, you know, you got four and a possible two. You know, those possibles can come through. And then those possibles can be, end up being nothing. So I'll have to wait and see how this turns out. But yeah, I was kind of happy with what, with what we got done today. Of course, happy with Troy and what he did. The other crew was doing good. Um, I did see the one moment, you know, <laughs> with the guy being on his phone almost a couple, every couple times that I saw it, I pulled up on him, you know, a younger guy. Uh, I'm going to have to probably speak to them about that because I don't like jumping the gun when I know that could be using the phone for you know you know something that's you know worth calling or using the phone for that's not a big deal but then it's like when you kind of see someone like always on the phone it's like all right what do you need to be on the phone for that much like you need to get some work done especially you know watching you know somebody next to you just working and then you're just kind of fumbling around with your phone chilling you know like you're acting like you're working, getting paid. You know, I don't like that. You know, and that's why I say, you know, when you happen to do pop-ups, you know, you know, you find out some things, you know, because some people aren't expecting you to pop up there in a given moment. And with the properties being as big as they are, you know, I have to be on point. You know, I know, uh, you know, most of them, you know, are pretty good workers, and you know, uh, you know. Are good and you know a lot of times most of the time honest but every so often you know I do see little things like that and it kind of irks me and a lot of times I don't want to jump the gun and, and go crazy about it but at the same time I can't sit back either you know after I see it a number of times I'm just like that's just a waste of money I'm just paying you to fumble with your phone I'm like mm, I don't like that you know so I'm gonna have some words about that you know like I said, man, you you see that this is just, a, you know, day in the life of a landscaper, and I'm sure this could happen in any other field, but that everything is, you know, great, you know, and always positive, you know, like, you know, there's good work that happens, but this is real life. I mean, you're going to see some real stuff, you know, <laughs> that happens even if it's bad, you know, and I know a lot of us don't always show all the bad, you know, it's not always there to try to show every single thing. But hey, you gotta take the good with the bad here. You know, if I roll up on somebody not doing something right or doing something that doesn't make any sense, 
they need to be called out on it. You know, and then you need to, you know, you need to see it. You know, so I'm not trying to, you know, always show you and edit. Oh, let me just edit and show all the great stuff. You know, I'll show you. You know, little things like that. You shake your head out like what? <laughs> oh boy, I tell you. All right. Jumping on the good old ICC, and that's everybody in, in the DMV, Maryland, DC, and Virginia, mainly Maryland, mainly Montgomery County, going into PG County, going into Howard County, going towards Baltimore. They know what I'm talking about, and I'm looking like I'm shaking like a mug right now. So, this truck has got me shaking. Look, like I, I put my hand on it, and it got still. So, I think maybe I don't have this thing tight enough on here. Um, so I think that's a good sign for me to say, see you later.